It's good to break. Well, mid-session interval over. Jack Lithowski knows he's got a little bit of a mountain to climb. He had every chance in the opening four frames. He trails 3-1. Be interested to see how he copes with the pressure on this main table. Stuart Bingham didn't play well in the opening four frames. Left a Jack a few chances. But scored the better of the two players. Best shot in the world. A little kiss on the red is left an opening to the right centre. Well, I say it's left an opening, but he hasn't looked at it. Jack, he's he could have played that better. It's quite short. He may have left this dead straight red to this right hand corner pocket. Can get on the black as well. It was a poor safety shot from Jack Lazowski. It's amazing sometimes our poor safety shot can uh, get you an opening, and that's what's happened there. It really was a bad shot from Jack to not get in past the bolt line. But it's given him a better chance now than Stuart just had. I'll tell you, he's been very lucky there, Willie. I mean, that red has come up now and has hampered these two opening reds into the left-hand corner pocket. It's made it just slightly awkward. He may have to take the red into the green pocket, the red that he's closest to with the cue ball, because if this red wasn't near his hand, it would be just pretty straightforward. But as you see now, he's bridging over, and this is missable. Played that very well. Wow. Well, it's hard to believe he actually played that too well. Overran it. It was a beautiful shot, Ken, wasn't it? Queuing over the ball there to generate the top spin. Usually that would slow the white down, queuing down on it. And uh, that's why it perhaps looked like he had to hit it hard. And uh, it's amazing the top spin he got off that. Very unfortunate. Jack Lazowski, one. This red is not easy. Yeah, the pace he's going to have to play it if he just play the pot. Yeah, I don't blame him at all for refusing it, but I do blame him for playing the safety shot not thin enough. What a clever shot that was. That was the only way he could get on the black off that red because he would have been careering into the pack and 
Not very often you see these top players play doubles, but as you can see, that was the only red he could have left on, should he have missed it. Now, is there another loose red on, or will he power it in off the top cushion and try and bring another couple of reds into play? As you can see, there's no reds available into this pocket. So he's gone for the cannon, and it looks like he's played it pretty well. Eight. Yeah, this red and the pot into the bottom right hand corner pocket just glance off the bottom of the pack and bring some more reds into play and stay on the black just watch the cue ball here judging it off the pack off the side cushion a little bit unlucky there just got the little kiss on the red took the pace out of the cue ball looks like he's Pretty straight on this black, so can only just drop it in. Maybe leaving red to left center. Oh. 16. Red to right center, just, just above the pink, I think, maybe his choice here. Again, quite a long way away from that. Stuart Bingham, 16. Has to be said, this is a quite a poor standard for these two top players. I don't believe it. Stuart's got to be a little bit careful now because he's 3-1 in front and he knows that he's got Jack playing poorly. Got to be a little bit careful, he doesn't let Jack back into the game. Well, whatever happens, you just con up at this level, continue to miss balls and leave your opponent in. I suppose in practice they just knock them in all the time, but they've probably One. not got an opponent who's going to punish them if they miss. It's probably a good time to take the blue here because he can go into the pack now full well that he still has that red over the left center. The green is a lot easier, of course, but... A lot of pace out of the cue ball that time. Play to bring that cue ball another couple of three inches off the cushion. So this red's a, a lot more difficult than it should have been. And 
the angler's got on it, he may have to brush off the side of the pack. Yeah, it's just flicked off Thank it, you. but still not got a good cue ball just yet. He's a couple of shots away from making this uh, position where he can think about winning the frame. Just needs one good positional shot now, and he's got the reds at his mercy. You would make him 19. Well, it's just a case at the moment who misses the less chances, doesn't it? Uh, that was uh, Stuart in fairness was a little bit unfortunate there. He kept finishing a little close to the cushion. Jack really must get a foothold in this match now, otherwise he could find it drifting away from him. Fourteen. Well, he's just having a look at the two reds that are close together below the pink. He's just seeing what was it a plant into either the middle pocket or, or this corner pocket. Fifteen. And certainly now when he after he plays this shot, just coming around now. The red to the extreme right of the pink will pot of course into this bottom right hand corner pocket. Those two reds are quite close together, so Let's see if they're a plant from this other side now. Twenty-two. And there you see it. it. Looks like it's just gone to the left-hand side of the pocket. So. <coughs> well, you saw it switch a little bit, and that's what happens sometimes when the balls are that close. What happens? They squeeze each other and. Goes in the opposite side of the pocket than you would expect when it was well negotiated. 29. He's five points Six. behind. I'm sure he potted that red, and which means he's going to need that red that's closest to the right hand side cushion should he go on and win the frame from this visit. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. That looks a little straight, wanting an angle where he could just screw. And you see the angle is not what he would have liked. He wanted to just screw back onto that side cushion and have the red into the middle. He needs a bit of luck here. He needs a bit of luck. Forty-four. And a break, but he's back he's in the game. 44. But hasn't played a good safety again. No way you should kiss a ball killer when there's uh, just coming off one cushion. Stewart will play the cross double here.
Well, he's just struggling with his safety, isn't he? Tonight, Jack, he's left uh, lots of opportunities. Eight. Well, decision time, 18 points ahead. He can play right-handed, he is ambidextrous, but boy, this is a tough shot down the cushion. The only way he's got to really play this is drop it in. If he tries to screw it back, it's a much more difficult shot. No way. A very, very difficult shot. Kuklasovsky, eight. As he left it. <laughs> Well, Jack's obviously played an awful lot right-handed, and I've not seen enough of him to know how good he is right-handed, but we've only seen him play two shots right-handed this evening and missed them by quite a long t long way. The first one cost him the frame. Is this one going to cost him the frame? Six. Eight. Well, I don't think it is because unless he can get an awful lot of left hand side on this cue ball, he's going to have to play a very difficult green. And there you see it, he's left himself too much to do. He might have got away with it. Stuart Winger, mate. No. But left himself, didn't get into that yellow. Wanted to be a lot higher up the table for green to brown. from Stuart, he's going to need another one. Three. He's got an angle on the brown though, should he pot it? It would be nicely on the blue, but this brown is very difficult. Oh, it's going to be tough. And where's the brown going? Stuart Bingham, three. So seven points in front, Jack somehow is going to have to Get onto the blue, he needs brown and blue. How would you play this? Will he cushion for us or would you just <coughs> screw back directly? Oh, he's got to watch the cue ball into the middle. It's going to go pretty close, but how well judged was that? Couldn't have played that much better. Excellent shot. Nine. 16 points ahead. 13 remaining, so this will be a formality for Jack. And I'm mighty relieved, Jack Lazowski, and it has to be said. He's going to pot the black. Bit of pot in practice. A little bit of an exhibition shot, but he's mighty relieved. He won't worry about the black. It was a great shot from brown to blue. I'm sure he'll be very disappointed, but he still leads. Three frames to two. It's very 
surprising, isn't it, Woody, to see? You know, we, we did talk about Stuart Bingham before this match and talked how well he's been playing, but he certainly hasn't produced anything near his best tonight. He's been very, very sort of out of sorts, hasn't he? Yeah, he's looking good. His long game's pretty good, and when he gets in, he, he looks certain to score 30 or 40. Normally, over the last few weeks, we've been seeing him scoring 70s and 80s and winning a frame at one visit. That's not happened this evening. He's played an awful lot of snooker over the last few weeks. I mean, he's been all over the world. He's, I think with yourself, he's over in Bulgaria. Then he came to the finals of the league and played some super snooker. Like Judd Trump, who got beat this afternoon, may be a little bit tired. Well, could be a little bit of fatigue, but also could be just a little bit of pressure. We often speak about first round matches and these big championships and it's always a little bit of pressure on the first round. You like to get over your first round and, and get your, you feel you're sort of part of the big tournament. But uh, I'm sure all the seeds this week, we, we heard John Higgins talk even during his match or after his match against Michael Holt, he said he was very nervy. Steve Maguire, an experienced and former UK champion, said he was very nervous in his opening match against Fergal O'Brien. So the top players do feel nervous. It's just uh, sometimes they don't show it. But certainly Stuart has certainly shown a little bit of nerves here tonight. Frame six, Stuart Bingham to break. But he still holds it three frames to two lead. As he breaks off in this sixth frame, first to six, goes through into the last 16 of the WilliamHill.com UK Championship. Maybe he'll see the red in the middle, which he can take with a little bit of confidence. But he's got to stun it a little bit, because if he plays it plain ball, he may cannon into the red that's in open play on the right-hand side of the screen there. He's played the pot in the corner, which is a little bit more dangerous, knowing that if you miss it, you're leaving a red on. Well, the red just above the black is the one he'd like to get on. He's going to need an awful lot of cue power from green to get onto that red. That's probably one he's going to play for. If he under hits it, it's in the one in the middle, so he can play it with a bit of confidence. I don't think they're into it well at all. But he's still got a pot on. Choice of two reds, actually. Four. That kiss wasn't a bad kiss at all. Eleven. Twelve. Well, has he come far enough? That's a very, very, I think he got a slight kick on the run through to be perfectly honest, but it's still a very poor shot.
bring. So it bring in plus. So Jack has got to stir it on, on the ropes a little bit at the minute. Stuart started to miss, started to play a few careless positional shots. But Jack's been letting him in far too often. It's time now to start playing a bit of good safety. OK, he might be taking this on. But you know, when you're not knocking them in, you've got to learn how to play safe. in the way love to take the yellow and maybe go into the pack but may just take the the red that's in open play just below the blue three looks pretty good four oh, good shot purposely left himself low on this black now It's a good split. Mm, at first glance, the red in the middle of the pack, I think, goes into the right center. Yep. So it's not too bad. Pretty straightforward. Good chance for Lozowski here now. Twelve. Size break of the match has only been... Paul tree 67. He's already scored a 147 in this tournament in qualifying, so he can score. But 90. Just as yet, hasn't really performed. And there's another bad shot. 20. He's really struggling at the moment. All players are. Good recovery. And has his luck. <laughs> That's unlucky. <laughs> Brown has come back off the top cushion and covered this red into the 25. left centre. <coughs> he's got to be careful here because bringing the cue ball back to bulk, he's got to try and cover that red that's closest to the brown and that's not going to be easy <coughs> may just be able to slide off the red just close to the brown and maybe try and leave the cue ball down somewhere in this top cushion well, he's missed it completely yes. he may have left this red was this red pot at the bottom of the pack? Well, obviously not, Stuart. Hasn't had a look at it. No, it doesn't pot, so... No real damage done.
so loose, Jack, at some of the shots he plays. Maybe able to get away with it against a, lo a lot lower ranked player, but when you're playing one of the t top 16 players, you just don't get away with it too often. One. If you keep presenting them with chances, even though Stuart's not playing well, he's going to take them. Sixteen. Just another glance at the scoreboard. We'll tell him he's uh, just gone seven points in front. Seventeen. So four more reds and colours. We'll take him past the point where Jack needs a snooper in this frame. Twenty two. Twenty three. Yeah, you just saw Stuart trying to calculate the scores. He's concerned about that red on the right side cushion, but he's not going to need that. Third. That's what he was trying to work out. Yep. 21 points ahead, black to follow, 28. So another red, colour red, should be suffice. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Quite sure whether the red passes the brown into the green pocket. Well, certainly, this shot will tell us a story. It certainly does. So just the red required. 36 points ahead. Red will put him 37 ahead with 35 45. on. <laughs> 46. Nice angle on the brown. He'll get behind this redder. Could possibly even knock it off the side cushion. Decided to take it off the cushion, missed it completely. So, 41 points ahead, 35 remaining. 50. You would certainly expect Jack Lazowski to come back to the table. 50. Well, Baron Snookers, that should be enough to put Stuart Bingham into a four frames to two lead. One. 
Oh, it's amazing isn't it, how this fast this table is. For a moment, he was perfect on the black, and it just kept running and running. With him missing that, I'm sure that he'll concede this frame. So it is Stuart Bingham, Bingham that goes into a two frame lead, and that is by four frames to two. the stats on the tournament so far. Quite a bit behind in most departments, uh, Jack Luzowski. I think the biggest thing is the safety. As you can see that down at 74% and uh, he plays very, very loose. Uh, okay, he's been winning tournaments or winning against players of a, a lower rank. He can get away with bad safety, but at this level, Ken, you can't get away with that, can you? No, and I suppose there's a little bit of an, I an experience sometimes against the, in these bigger events. But uh, it's all a part of learning. I'm sure he will learn. There's no doubt about that. He has Jack the Lezowski. talent. And as I said, he's got a bright future in the game, Jack Lazowski. Very poor break-off shot from Jack Lazowski there, and luckily for him, I think that is rested on the red. I don't think he can get to the black. It's a strange game, isn't it? Half an inch away from being perfect. Oh, can he get to the black? He must be able to pot it. Otherwise, he'd be playing for the blow-off one cushion. Yes, he can get through to it. Big shot this. Played very confidently. You see the check side he put on there rather than going up into the ball carry. Played with a lot of check side to play that cannon. And he's in again. Eight. Well, that was well played, wasn't it? Nice little cannon on the red, just pushing it out away slightly. Sixteen. Yeah, I think red into the middle would be a better choice here because he can pot the black and leave the red just above the black. For his next one. Seven. Try and leave a nice angle on the black here. Now we can go into the pack, knowing full well that this loose red is always going to be there. And that's the art of break building. There you see it, trying to bring some more reds into play. Didn't quite do that, but 24. you saw the idea. Always going to be on this red. Twenty-five. pack is very loose, so a lot of deep screw here again and you'd expect them to be on something thirty two it's not straight on the red into the middle otherwise you'd love to get back down and stay on this black Two reds are pretty close to a plant, but again, he'd be going away from the black. That is four reds, four blacks. But it looks like he may have to go up for a ball colour. 33. Oh, where's this red going? <laughs> well, he's holding his hands up to try and stop it, and that's unlucky. 
Look for that red coming off the top cushion. Blocking the path into this left hand corner pocket. It looks like end of break. Possible double on though. We saw earlier he played a double into the middle pocket. And he could play a double here. No, trying to keep the match tight. Here's a two frame lead. And Stuart Bingham, 35. He knows he's going to get more chances against Jack Lazowski, so keeping it tight. A bit surprised there, Willie. I mean, he could have played a double now full well. He wasn't going to be leaving anything. Yeah, I, it was a fairly shot to nothing, wasn't it? But it must have been a bit thin, it looked like, from the commentary position. But knowing how loose Jack's safety play is, it's uh, probably a better choice to play a good safety himself. And there's another loose safety shot from Jack. Honestly, you can't tell you how difficult that shot is to play. A stun run through around the back of the black, and he just cued it like it was over the pocket. Even though he's been a pro some 15 years, 20 years now, that Stuart Bingham is certainly the most improved player on the circuit at the moment. He's suddenly found a new lease of life. Eight. He just played off the black there into the pack as have opened every red on the table and he only needs three more reds and three colours to make Seven. the frame safe and go just one closer to winning this match. Jack knows now seeing where the balls are, he looks like he's certain to go five two behind, so he's gonna have to win the remaining four frames. He can do that, he's blessed with an awful lot of talent, Jack. But he's definitely got to tighten up 24. a little bit. The safety this evening has been very poor. 25. 32. <laughs> 33. Yeah, it looks like finally Stuart Bingham is getting into some sort of a rid rhythm. Certainly his pace around the table is speeded up. There you see, 75 ahead, 65 remaining. 40. 41. The highest break in this match has only been 68 from Stuart Bingham, 67 from Jack Lazowski. Has a chance to beat that here. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Look at pot. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Sixty-three. Sixty-four. Doesn't have a good angle here, so he may play the little cannon into the red or pink. If you like to hit them both together, and I'll just push the red towards the middle pocket. the red, you have to rely on a good kiss, it's still okay. 71. 72. This has been excellent, isn't it? This is what we've been expecting all evening. Stuart's been playing excellent when he's been in the balls and uh, 
every chance now of making the century. 79. He's already had 21. 23 centuries this season, 185 in total. Eighty-four. Well, I'll just probably screw this in on off the side cushion to get on the blue. I don't think you can hold it. I decided to try and play the cannon and missed it by the proverbial Eight. mile. <laughs> well, it's a shame there wasn't a century, but an excellent 88 break from Eight Stuart Bingham has taken him further clear. He's just one away from victory now. He leads 5-2. Well, Ken, it's the first time I've seen Jack, and uh, I can see what a wonderful prospect he is. But uh, tonight, I think he's been given a little bit of a lesson at the moment. Yeah, I was hoping to see uh, some of what we've seen in the PTCs, and particularly in the qualifiers. I mean, as I said, he did make a, a 147 in the qualifying rounds for this tournament. He is exceptionally talented. A little bit inexperienced, I would say, and, and that's cost him a few frames tonight. But he will certainly learn from this experience should he lose this match. And by no means he's not out of the match totally yet, but even if he does lose the match, it will certainly gain from this experience of playing on the big stage. He may take a little bit of the, the fact that his great friend Jud Trump was 5 to in front and looked like winning the match and end up Mark Joyce came back and beat him 6-5, so he knows that it can happen. Absolutely. Yeah, but as I said, he's he's one for the future, and uh, not to the too Still distant future either. He's a good player, lots of talent. So Stuart Bingham breaks off, leading five frames to two. Just one more required for a place in the next round. Jack Blazowski has it all to do. Must win the remaining four frames. A better safety shot. Found the length of pace with the cue ball. Put Stuart in a little bit of trouble. He can play off the outside of the pack, though. Well, I said it was a bit of safety shot. He's picked one out there. Where's the cue ball going? Oh. Unlucky. Great part. Jack Lazowski, four. Not happening for Jack, is it? Is every pot is missed in that pocket is hit on the left hand jaw. In Jack Lagowski in the qualifiers, easy for me to say. <laughs> in the qualifiers, he's been <laughs> potting some tremendous long balls. In this match, he's been struggling. I think I'll just call him Jack from now on. One.
even though there was a few loose reds on, Stuart decided to play the aggressive shot, and once again it hasn't worked. Stuart Bingham, Stuart appears to have covered the right-hand side of the pack, which means he... Well, Jack maybe thinks he can see... The red is hitting. He'd be pushing over the corner if he plays this one. There's the red going over the corner. He's got to look at things like that. Well, he keeps sorting one out, Stuart, doesn't he? Another what? excellent to long pot from Stuart Bingham. If he gets on a red here, OK, the black's out of commission. The blue and pink are virtually in play, so this is a good chance. If he gets on a red nicely here, Stuart Bingham has every chance of taking frame and match at this visit. Just needs the pink to be in play. It's going to be very hard to win the frame and match off just the blue, so he needs to get the pink in play as quickly as he can. Obviously, the black's totally out of commission, but if he gets the pink in open play, he's got every chance to win the match at this visit. So what he needs to do here is just get top side of the blue and then play the Seven. cannon into the two reds, just the right of the pink. So if he gets on the blue three-quarter ball, top side, he can play that little cannon into those reds to the right of the pink. Now he's just about perfect, Eight. I think. Needs to slow up a little bit, though. Just ran a little bit too much. The cannon's still on, but he can't guarantee playing a controlled cannon. That's the cannon I was talking about. That's got the pink in play. Excellent snooker from Stuart Bingham. He's looked at the real deal in the last couple of frames. Yes, and the winning line in sight now. Yeah. 
He's freed up the pink and just a couple of little stuns now on the reds and control of the cue ball around the pink spot. It's only in these last 24. couple of frames, isn't it, Willie, that he's really sort of got motoring the first few frames, five, six frames. Looked completely out of sorts. He's used to winning now, though, Ken, isn't it? And that, that, that nothing breeds confidence ro ro rather than winning. And, of course, now he's not frightened of going over the line. 30. Yeah, it becomes a habit, doesn't it? It's always a good sign when you don't play your best and you can still win. Unfortunately, another good habit is losing, isn't it? When you get into a, you know, all of a sudden it looks hard work and you, you find ways of losing in the... 31. In the closing stages of matches sometimes when, when you're not used to it. But Stuart Bingham's on a terrific run this season. And he's certainly the man in form at the moment. And he's been a pro for an awful long time. And it's only the last couple of years he showed the potential he's got. Tom Pro, 1995. And as I said, 38. in his first ranking tournament, Australian Open. 2011. A couple of APTCs this year. They're the Asian versions of the PTCs over here. Won two of those, and of course, quite recently, a magnificent win in the Premier League, beating Judd Trump in the final. 44. Just a couple of pots away now. A place in the next round of this UK Championship. 45. Sponsored by WilliamHill.com. The perfect side of the blue. Just stunned down for these reds below the pink. Fifty. So 50 points ahead. Pink will put on 56 points ahead. So one more red remaining. And uh, that will be it for Jack Lazowski in this year's UK Championship. But I'm sure we're going to see lots more of him over the coming years. 57. Looking very forlorn in this seat at the moment is Jack. He's, he knows he's had every chance in this match. He had Sturt not playing at his best. He's played at his best the last couple of frames. 58. Got a bad kick there, may force him into playing the black now. He's got to be a little bit careful though. There's still 51 points on, so Jack will carry on should he not pot this blue. 50. Well, no total clearance, but buying the, the snookers that Jack Stuart needs, it'll be Stuart Bingham who goes into the next round a 6 2 winner. Kozowski, seven. One. 
Well, until the last couple of frames, it's been a little bit so. workmanlike from Sturt, but the last couple of frames he's showed what he's been showing all season. Excellent snooker, and Jack so offers his hand and congratulations. Uh, not, a, not a great match, but the last couple of frames showed what a four Sturt Bingham now is, and he goes into the next round. He, he wins the match by six frames to two.